Did Nintendo just get their first real competitor to the Switch with Valve stepping in? It's a really weird thing, but Valve announced a handheld gaming PC that's Switch-like, but Steam capable. And it's launching at just $50 more than the Nintendo Switch OLED model. So today let's talk about and go over the specs for the Steam Deck, which is Valve's Switch-like PC console. What is up guys, Sean here, and if you're new to the channel, remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And if you're returning because you're already subscribed, well then, welcome back. I know I just dropped two tech videos in a row, but I just had to talk about this stuff. Look, I'm not only a film guy and a photography guy, I'm also a tech guy. Sue me. So the Steam Deck, it's a handheld gaming PC that's slightly heftier than a Nintendo Switch, and it's extremely powerful. And the specs are as follows. It has a 1280 by 800 LCD screen, custom AMD APU, 16 gigabytes of lightning fast RAM, and at launch there's gonna be three models for you to choose from starting at 399 for 64 gigs of storage, 529 for 256 gigs of storage, and $649 for 512 gigs that are NVMe. In terms of graphics capability, they're gonna be identical, with the biggest difference being just storage. Also, they all have SD card slots for expandable storage as well. Interestingly, they all come with a storage case, so I guess that's pretty cool. And as I said earlier, this thing is literally a handheld PC capable of running pretty much anything you throw at it. It's a gaming PC. You can plug it into a monitor and have a keyboard and mouse setup with it running a Linux-based operating system. Also, before I forget to mention, it's customizable. You can make this machine do pretty much anything you want. That includes installing things like Epic Games, Origin, some homebrew stuff like emulation, you can even install Discord or Windows. Again, so full-fledged gaming PC, that's a handheld, starting at just $400 and it comes with a case. And battery life. Because they aren't doing 4K high resolution screen, you're getting a good battery life. It can sit anywhere from two to eight hours of gameplay, depending on the type of games you're playing and how you have them configured. So if you're running a game at 30 frames per second, you'll probably get closer to the eight hours of battery life that they're talking about. All right, one last time, handheld gaming PC starting at just $400 with tons of customization options. I'm curious, will you be picking one up? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you're not gonna pick one up, I'm curious to know your thoughts and why you don't want one. That's it for this video, guys, and if you stuck around until the end, then I appreciate you. Remember to hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.